Welcome to FluidRay. This tutorial will guide you through the basic features of FluidRay with a scene from SketchUp. Save your SketchUp file and then go to FluidRay. To start rendering, go to the Import menu and select a file, or just click the Import button. Hold Ctrl and the left button while dragging the mouse to rotate the camera. Hold Ctrl Shift and the left button while dragging the mouse to pan the camera. Use the mouse wheel to zoom. You can zoom extent the whole model or zoom extent selected objects using the zoom tools on the toolbar, or by clicking Ctrl E or Control shift e respectively. Cameras are imported together with the scene. You can drag and drop an environment from the library to change the scene's lighting. Environment Rotation and Gain can be changed through the Editor window. Materials can be assigned with a simple drag and drop. Objects can be selected by clicking on them. Hold Shift to bring up the Advanced Selection menu. Materials can be assigned to selected objects by right-clicking on the Material Library and selecting Assign to Selection. Hold down the Control key, Command on a Mac, to select multiple objects. You can change the size of a material on the Material tab in the Editor window. Let's add some artificial light. To add artificial light, we have to assign an emissive material to a surface. Let's increase its power in the editor panel. A selection can be hidden with Ctrl and H keys, or through the menu, Edit Hide. We can unhide all objects by pressing Ctrl, Shift, and the H keys. Or with the menu, Edit Unhide All. Now let's go back to SketchUp. What happens if we make a change in the original SketchUp file? You can simply resave it, go back to FluidRay, re-import the model, hitting Ctrl and R, or use the toolbar. All the changes you made to the model will be preserved and merged. Let's make the image brighter by adjusting the final gain in the Renderer tab.
Finally, save the image by going to File Save Image in the menu or by clicking the disk icon on the toolbar. And that's it. Thanks for watching this tutorial for FluidRay.